Hello and welcome everybody. It's Chris Hall from ChristopherHall.com again. Um, and I'm just sat at my, my laptop doing a bit of research and I've come across it again. And that is sit-ups and crunches will break your back. It is as simple as that. They will break your back. Stop doing them. Right. Now, um, yeah, so I've just been reading a reading a book. It's called Clinical Anatomy and Management of Low Back Pain by LGF Giles and Kevin P. Singer. Again, look it up, have a read. It's a great read. Then I've gone to uh, the chapter Biomechanics of Lumbosacral Spine. And just after the introduction, there's a part called Development of Spinal Biomechanics. And I'm just going to read you um, sort of a, a paragraph from it. Um, and it's got some it's got some quite interesting reading in it. Um, and basically it sort of it starts off. I won't read the whole thing, but it starts off um, with a first lot of studies in 1934, which assumed that the compressive loads on the intervertebral joint was responsible for causing the disc to prolapse, which is a slip disc or disc herniation or whatever you want to call it. But mechanical tests on the intervertebral joints in the laboratory were unable to produce these lesions with axial compression, Percy 1957. So, um, in 1957, that got sort of quashed. It wasn't the compressive load on it. Then, as we go further down um, the further down the paragraphs, um, what they found was in 1982 um, by Adams and Hutton. Um, it was also it it has also been shown that repetitive loading is most probably responsible for this type of lesion causing what can be described as fatigue failure of the annulus providing a channel through which the nucleus can migrate. That is basically repetitive loading. So repetitive loading is essentially um, the bending of the spine. If I just go back slightly, um, it was not until the early 1980s that studies subjecting intervertebral joints to hyperflexion combined with compression produced these types of lesions in the, in the laboratory. Okay, so what they're saying there is hyperflexion and compression. So that basically leads me on to what I said before was that pre repetitive loading. That's another way of saying um, sort of the 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 hyperflexion um is causing back pain. So again, I will say it again as I said at the start, sit-ups and crunches will break your back. Stop doing them. Okay, thanks and goodbye.